Greensboro, Texas, and I'm riding out of dough. He's an 18-year-old stallion that has been in the family for years, and he just keeps winning. As long as he keeps uh, wanting to come to these shows, I'm going to bring him. That's great. Uh, tell us more about him. He's one of those family members that just keeps wanting to please and keeps wanting to do and wanting to go. And he he's, lives in our horse barn all the time. And when my patients come into my practice, they want to go see him. They know that Ben's there, you know, because he talks to him. And uh, he's, just, he's just one of those horses that just draws attraction to people. And you say he's been in your family for a long time. Can you tell us where you found him? We bought him when he was a two-year-old. And um, Mike Burke uh, trained him out of California. And mom kept him a secret from me for a long time. I found out about him. And um, I said, all right, tell me a little bit about this horse. And she's like, OK, I'll tell you. And then we were at the NRBC. Gosh, time gets away from me. And she rode him in one of the classes. I can't remember which one. And I had just finished chiropractic school. And I said, can I put him in the green rookie? Or is it, it was green. It was one of them. I don't think they had that back there. And I'm like, sure. Well, I went in, blew the thing away with them. And they're, they're like, let's get out of here. <laughs> we had a fun time with him. And it's just history since then. Just wins and wins and wins with him. Well, tell us about today's win. Um, I always have to, he's one of those horses that you can't just bring to a horse show. You have to get him in a class and get him in there, you know, before your next bigger classes. And that was my class that I went in today, and he did really good for me and just kicked butt. Very <laughs> good. 18-year-old, 72 and a half is not bad. So what else do you guys have going on here at the NRBC? I was in the non-pro derby today, and um, I ended up with a 218 and a half on my little making diamonds mare, and love her and looking forward to the finals. Great. Uh, who do you want to thank for helping you get here? Oh, Jared LeClaire, Mike Bird, uh, Matt Armenta, uh, Bob Curtis, Jack Kyle. Jack Kyle was a big influence of mine for many years ago. Not many people even know who Jack Kyle is anymore. But he trained me along with Bob Curtis. So it's been a lot of people. And my mom, of course. You know, she's been there forever. <laughs> <laughs>I Amanda, mean, it's a pleasure to be here tonight representing Markel. I am Frank Costantini, the Director of Western Disciplines. Uh, along with the team of specialists, we offer the uh, various products that Markel offers to the equine industry, primarily of the Western Disciplines. Markel, as you might know, is a specialty lines insurance company with the primary home office in Richmond, Virginia. We provide coverage for uh, almost all the equine entities that uh, participate in uh, what the ongoings of the horse world today, you know. We've had the good fortune of being able to offer farm and ranch coverage, care testing control, uh, commercial auto, commercial horse trainers liability, professional horse trainers liability, and by and large mortality coverage for our equine investments. Uh, we've been affiliated with the NRHA for 20 plus years now, and hopefully we'll be in, in, in business and affiliated with the NRHA and the Western horse world for another 20 years. Along with that, it's, it's an honor and a privilege to be interviewed by Worldwide Slide, Virtual Horse Help. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, meeting of the minds and the coming together. And uh, speaking for Markel, we are looking forward to working with you, with Cheryl, with uh, Tommy, and all the entities involved.